So I'm wearing naps. Don't mind the barking in the background. We got some puppies just doing nap time, and that's fine. They're just working through it. Um, it's good for Max to work with those loud noises and distractions in the background because if he can do it in a distracting environment, it'll be far easier for him in a less distracting environment. Max might be a little bit lower on the energy and a little more tired right now. We went on a school trip today. He had a blast. He carried toys around with the kids the whole time. Loved it. So he might just be a little bit more laid back. You'll notice I have a long lead on him. Max tends to get a little distracted easier and sometimes something like a noise going on in the other room, he'll go check it out. And that's very normal for a puppy his age. He's just curious. But I want to keep him honed in and I want to keep that focus on training. So if he goes to kind of try to lead me, I'll be able to pull him back in even if he doesn't necessarily want to. Max, good boy. So just to get him all engaged and give him a treat, we're going to work on play stuff. So I'm this attention. I'm going to get him on this bed. Because he's a little more tired, we're going to take it back a step. Usually I can just reference to the bed. Good place. And Max goes right on there. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So when he goes to step off, I say, uh-uh. I stop him and I put him right back on the bed. Place. And I start over with that place again. Sometimes it takes a little more repetition. He might kind of jump right back off and continuously do that. The most important thing is to get Max right back on that side of the bed as quick as possible. I, of course, want to be gentle and keep it positive. But when he gets back on there, I'm not going to praise him. So we got to shoot when he went on because I lured him on, which is normal. Uh-uh. I'm going to scoop him right up. Take him right back. Place. No reward. I'm not going to use those positive marker words. I'm not going to use any treats. I'm not going to praise him. And nothing like that. Because I don't want to reward the parents for breaking away. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up, put him back on there, and just start over with place. Same place. Now that he's settled in, I'm going to walk up and I'm just going to give him some praise. Just no treats, just petting. Good boy. Good place. Place. Good boy. And I can say positive and more towards ah ah. Scoop him right up, take him right back. Place. I can use positive and more towards from a distance. It's almost like I'm throwing treats to Max. And what these do is just assure him that he's doing exactly what I want him to do. So I got some good distance between him and myself. I'm going to even back up a little bit with the camera so you can kind of see him a good distance. I'm going to walk a little out of sight. See that I'm going to walk out of the room again so you kind of get an idea of what's going on here. The goal is to get Max to be able to hold this for up to 15 minutes. down a hallway and out that door.
free time to use the place command is when you're working from home, in your office or anything like that. Ah, 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 ah. Getting right back on there. Scoop them right up. Place. And just gently picking them up and putting them on there. Like I said, I want to keep this positive. I don't want them to have a negative um, thought or mindset when it comes to the place command. But as I was saying, a great time. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Because I don't want to think he's getting an inch. Because if you get an inch, that'll take a mile. Place. So another time to use the place command is when company comes in the door, if you want him to hold place, or you want him just to go somewhere to be content, and maybe not in the crate. So place is a really great command for this. Another thing to mention about the place command is, right now Max has nothing on the front of them with him, but once he has this down path, I want them to be able to give him a long-term treat or a crate sink toy. Just to keep them occupied, help the time fly by quicker with them. Oh, hold my hair to like that. So, making sure once he's comfortable and he's set up with the best success by having this down pat, that's what I would then get that. As of right now, and especially for the purpose of this video, I want him to just focus on holding the place command and not just sitting there because he has something to occupy him. Uh uh. Those are some free treats, I think, on the floor there. Really great. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna release where it is. Okay. He's very tired. He's ready to take a nap on there. Okay. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good job. Alright, one more time. Next. Oh boy. So now that Max is kind of back into this from what we're doing, I did not give a treat at the beginning of this. I want him to work for the treat at the end. And if I'm going to give him praise throughout it, no treat reward though. I want him focused on the command and working for that treat at the end. That's the end goal there, is that if he holds it as long as I ask him to, and he follows through, etc., at the release is when he gets that treat. He's working for that end reward. I will say, Max is extremely food motivated, but he's also very, very toy motivated. He loves tennis balls, and his favorite are plush toys. Of course, we don't create him with this in that supervised play. Ah, 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 ah. Let's scoop him up, put him right back on that place. Supervised with anything stuffed, but we do a lot of no stuffed toys here, and those are Max's favorite. Good boy. So we're going to distraction walk you through, which is fine. I'm going to turn my back to Max, kind of set him up to see if he'll follow through without me looking. Sometimes changing body language. Ah, 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 ah. You're good. Just keep walking. Sometimes changing body language. Place. You can make a dog think they can prematurely break. So me having my back to him, having um, one of our staff walk through, things along those lines, typically make a puppy think their body language changed and they may be able to get away with prematurely breaking or going to check things out. So, setting them up for the best success, getting them right back on there when he does break, and then trying it again. So I'll turn my back to him again. I need a really good to so walk over and praise him for energy level so he's excitable he has a playful puppy side that he can be very energetic but he also has this low energy side of him that is sweet and snuggly and just kind of wants to hang out and work i will say max is set up for the best success for working when he goes out on a long walk first as he loves to go get his zoomies out because he is a very fun puppy oh, poor boy oh he loves his belly rubs yes he does oh we gotta squish him off please and then, Max. Okay. Yes, good boy. Good job. So as I said before, Max has had a really long day, so we'll keep this session kind of short. Oh boy. So we ended on a positive note with the place command. He did really good with that. And then we're going to end with his strongest commands, which are sit. Yes, good. Down. Breathe it out. I'm not going to repeat myself. If I say you're saying it over and over again, it's going to lose me and him. Just waiting it out. Yes, good. Using those positive markers. And then we'll do it again. Max. Sit. Yes. 
Donc ça dépend de ce statut. Tiens. Oui, là, slowly, and then just the boy. I'd like to do this both one more time. Next one. Here. Oh, no, you're tired, huh? Do one more. If you let me at least just do a sit. Sit. Go ahead. Down. Good boy. Yes. And then we'll end with the strongest, which is a sit. And then nice belly rubs. Come here, guys. Come here. I know you're so good. Come here. Come on. Oh, are we done? Next time, I want him to end on a positive note, so sit, and that's that. Now it's just time for some snuggles, and some belly rubs, or whatever Max wants. He did really good. So his last memory with the place command was a positive one. He just ended on a positive note with his strongest commands, which was sitting down. And yeah, he had a really great day, a great week here in training. And yeah, Max is an all-around really fun dog. And he had a pleasure to work with, yes. Oh, good boy. Good job.